interception, Donnie Brady takes advantage of the fact that Kerry Joseph puts the fastball out there to Yo Murphy. And, and Yo Murphy takes a little peek before he goes to catch it. Ball bounces off his helmet, up into the air, and Donnie Brady has an interception. Now, the Edmonton Eskimos now have five interceptions in the last two games. They had three in the first eight games. Interceptions come in Brady bunches. They do. Jason Moss had a little trouble with his footing earlier. No problem on the sprint out for the first down as the Eskimos continue to move deeper into Ottawa territory with a 10-point lead. Four receivers to the far side, and it's Pringle straight ahead. Big hit. And Pringle wins the battle there with Kelly Wilshire. You know, that, that's, that's worth another look because that was solid. That was Kelly Wilshire from safety. He got a nice run, and he hits Pringle about 10 yards down the field. Now, Pringle did, had done his job. He picked up the yard as he wanted, but that's a solid hit right there. Watch Wilshire from the safety spot back here, and he, he's going to slide right up into that hole. And both, both players with their feet planted, that's a good hard hit. Nine-yard gain. It was second and one. And we'll check out the yardage here for the Eskimos on that play. Straight ahead. And it should be a first down, Jason Moss. You talk about the footwear. And I've seen last few minutes here a lot of the Edmonton Eskimos changing their shoes or, or putting in longer cleats. And the, the field was dry. I was out there this afternoon. But... It's, it's quite hard, so it looks like the, the players are trying to get a little more penetration into this natural grass. Terry Vaughn was having his shoes adjusted and, and the longer cleats put in. Usually, this is the visiting team that is dealing with this, trying to change cleats in mid-game. Mid it will be a first down for the Eskimos. Ottawa, 34-yard line. Moss stands in. Makes a connection, coming out of the backfield. And that's Matthew Bertrand making the catch. They're very high on his abilities. Quarterback at Laval coming in and playing receiver for the Eskimos. He'll be around for a long time in the CFL, according to Tom Higgins. Because he can do so many things. Mm -hmm. And that's why you saw him line up at the tailback. Mike Bradley left earlier the back top fullback with injury. So Matthew Bertrand gets a chance to go in there, play a little tailback and play receiver. He's good on the teams. Second and six. To the near side. Terry Vaughn with the new cleats in. See, they're working well. Yeah, I love this. This is 